Hello, and welcome to a quick video on one of the new features of Magnet Forensics Axiom 8.0. My name is Christopher Vance, and I'm going to be walking you through one of our newest and greatest features, the mobile view. This feature is designed to help those who don't have a lot of experience analyzing mobile phones be more comfortable in their environment. However, it's also designed to help power users quickly and easily identify key artifacts that they may need to recover on their own, as well as artifacts that are represented easily in the file system. To find the mobile view, we have a couple of ways of getting there. Starting with our case dashboard, we can see on the left-hand side of our screen our evidence sources. If we click on one of the evidence sources relating to a mobile phone, we'll see our mobile view presented before us. The mobile view will present a generic frame for the iOS or Android device. Now the first and most important thing to understand is that this is not a virtualization of the device. It is a representation of that device based on key factors. The icons that you're seeing on this first screen are what we call supported apps. These are applications that have artifacts relating to Magnet Axiom. There may be more artifacts than on this front page on the device. We separate those into supported and unsupported apps. The layout of the icons on this screen does not relate one-to-one -to, -one to the device. We simply display them in the order of which we've recovered them, except for the bottom bar. Those will always be static. If you have more icons that will fit in the first screen, you have a left and a right arrow beside the visualization that allows you to navigate between them and see what other applications are out there for you to quickly grab. The layout of the artifacts is designed to give you the ability to quickly and easily navigate to artifacts that you may want to in your investigation. For example, if I wanted to start my investigation by looking at the iMessage, SMS, or MMS artifacts, I simply need to click on the icon relating to that on the screen. This takes me to the Artifact Explorer with just those icon results pulled up. Now what I can also do from here is change the way that I look at this data. By default, this is going to be brought into Conversation View. The reason for this is because under our More Options, we have it set to show the most relevant artifacts for the application. We can also choose to show all of the artifacts for that specific application, and then depending upon what of those choices we've made, we can show either the preferred view for this app, which is conversation view, or always use the column view. We also have the ability to show or hide the mobile wallpaper in case it's sensitive material. We can also show or hide the app labels in case you don't want to see that text on the screen as well. From here, I have a couple of options. I can jump to another artifact. For example, maybe I want to jump and look at the voicemails and call logs by clicking on that icon and it immediately loads that in the corresponding view for that data. Then we have some that are designed to help you quickly and easily identify a subset of artifacts. For example, photos. Photos is designed to show you not all pictures and videos on the device, but the ones that correspond to user-generated content from this device or other paired iOS devices. Clicking that, it'll bring us directly to that and its corresponding view, which is thumbnail view. Now this works for both iOS and Android, and I have two images loaded here. So within mobile view, I can quickly and easily jump from my iOS device to my Android device and see that data represented here. I can also navigate back to the case dashboard and jump between them there as well. Same thing with our Android device. If I wanted to see the data relating to the messages of the Android, I simply click on that and it takes me directly to that data. If I wanted to see what unsupported apps were on this device, I can simply click on the radio button for that. And it loads all of the unsupported apps for this specific device. I might decide to click on something like this Bamboo 3D printer application. This then loads a filter showing me all of the data relating to that package name. This gives me the ability to quickly and easily identify key records relating to it. If I were to grab the application usage, it allows me to quickly and easily identify where that package came from and navigate directly to that package's contents within the file system explorer. 
This is extremely helpful for power users who want to identify unsupported applications. Another great feature for this is if I go to my iOS device and go to my unsupported apps there, same thing, here is another of those 3D printer applications. Again, loading the data, but here under my installed applications, which I can find through the row view, or I can simply use the old standard artifact navigation pane to locate what I'm looking for. For example, the installed applications here. For iOS, not only will it parse out the information of where the app source is, it'll also find any shared app group folders relating to that as well and give me the ability to click on them and direct myself directly to that area of the file system. Here, there's only the one, but I have that ability to jump through. For more information about the mobile view, you can also click on the more information here to give more data about this view for those that maybe not uh, are fully familiar with it. The other nice feature of the new mobile view is that it will transfer over to a portable case. So if you have a portable case generated, this artifact uh, subset, as well as this visualization, will carry over into portable case so that you can hand this to non-technical stakeholders so that they can quickly and easily analyze application data or key artifact data simply by clicking on the icons that they would use like a real iOS or Android device. The mobile view is the culmination of a several month long process to bring you a new way of analyzing mobile data inside of Magnet Axiom. We look forward to the feedback that comes from this as well as making this new view even better for our customers in the future. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next time.